Alright, that last problem was super long, but we're now finally on to problem 19 from the 2016 10a. Again, the problem takes a little bit longer in explanation than it would if you were just doing the work without having to explain. Um, so, uh, in rectangle ABCD, we have lengths AB equals 6 and BC equals 3. Point E between B and C, and it goes on. Again, you're kind of going to lose track of what they're talking about. At that point, I like to just start making what they're just talking about, making a picture to represent. Making a picture to represent the words is a crucial skill. You absolutely have to have it. You'll likely never qualify for the next round if you don't have that skill. So don't be afraid of it. Develop it. Okay, so AB is 6. Make a rectangle. We'll go this way, I guess, and we'll call this AB. And if that's 6 and BC is 3, then we should make it about half the size. I guess that looks like about half there. And we will call, go this way and make the rectangle. This will be C, this will be D. It looks kind of rectangular. All right, so uh, then what? E is between B and C and F, F between E and C. So again, it's gonna go B, E, and then C's down here. And F is between E and C, F like this such that B, E, E, F, and F, C are all equal. Don't be afraid to do a sketch thing on the side of your paper so you don't mess up the drawing you're trying to work with, but you can see then that it's what we say is trisected. So this is B, E, and F. And since the whole thing is three and these are all equal, each of these lengths is one. Okay, and again, this is six up here. All right, segments A, E, which let me draw, and AF um, intersect BD at P and Q respectively. So let's draw BD, okay? Um, so let's see what it says exactly. Uh, this word respectively is so common in competition math and just in math in general. You need to get it down if it's your first time seeing it. I, I doubt it is at this point. It just means in the same order. So AE and AF are named first and second and P and Q are named first and second. Then it crosses AE, the first segment mentioned, at P, the first point mentioned. So BD crosses AE at P and AF, the second segment, at the second point, Q. Okay, the ratio BP to PQ to QD can be written as R to S to T, where the greatest common factor of R, S, and T is one. What is R plus S plus T? Okay, so we have to get a simplified ratio. Um, yeah, and we need them to all be integers, yeah. So BP, PQ, and QD written as integers. Um, and then we have to add the numbers. Okay, so there's a few ways you can approach this. If you look on AOPS, there's like, I think, seven solutions or something. I don't remember exactly. So feel free to look those up as well. Um, the way that I originally solved it is pure chord bashing. So uh, C-O-O-R-D bashing. What does it mean? If you're not familiar with the term, it means turn this into a coordinate plane. So this would become the origin, 0, 0. And since this is 6 and this is 3, B would be 6, 3. A would be 0, 3. Since you go down 1 from B, E would be the point 6, 2, F the point 6, 1, and C the point 6, 0. If you do so, uh, you can find these points of intersection and then apply distance formula to find these distances. Right? Turning this into a line. What do I mean? If I turn AE into a line, right, then I can find this point of intersection of this line and uh, DB. That's kind of a little bit tedious, so I'm going to modify it slightly. I don't remember where I picked this up, maybe from one of the solutions online, but I think it's better. Um, and what's going to happen is this. If we drop a vertical line straight down to DC from both Q and P, um, we've made parallel lines now at BC, we can call this X and this Y, PY and QX. And a further a point up here. 
And what we're going to use is this concept. If I have parallel lines, even a fourth one, and I have a line coming down like this and another one like this, the ratio between this to this to this will be the same as the ratio from this to this to this. Now, those parallel lines are here, 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 and I guess you could say AD as well, even though we only really use point D. Then all we really need is the X coordinate of this, of X, the X coordinate of Y minus the X coordinate of X to get this distance, and C minus Y to get this distance. Then when we want this expression here, BP to PQ to QD, it's equivalent to CY to YX to XD. That's the same as what we want, and this is going to be easier to find. Okay, so you could probably find a bunch of ways again. Similar triangles, I'm sure, is a way that you could do it, but I'm just going to go with the chord bashing hybrid, not full-on chord bashing, I guess. Maybe it is. I don't know. Whatever. Um, let's see. We want to know the X coordinate of Q. Let's start with Q. BD's line is really simple. You're going up three and over six, rise over run out of the origin. So BD's equation is simply Y equals one half X, right? That's the equation of this line. Up three over six is up one over two. Um, what about AF's equation? Um, we already know what it is in MX plus B form because that's B, zero, three, right? And we know that you're going to go down two to get to here and over six. That's a negative one third slope. You're going down two and right six. So negative one third X plus three. Furthermore, AE can quickly be written as you're going down one and over six. So it's negative one sixth X plus three. Same Y intercept as AF because this is the Y axis in our coordinate plane that we're imagining is here. All right, we just need points of intersection. This really isn't that hard. Set BD equal to AF. So uh, one half X is going to equal negative one third X plus three. I'm gonna go ahead and multiply by six. Three X equals negative two X plus 18. If you forget to multiply this, then you should probably do this. Don't forget in school, you can't actually put parentheses around an equal sign. If you do that in a school test, they're going to mark you down points because it's not mathematically allowed. I feel it should be. Who cares what they said in the past? This is faster. What you're supposed to do in school is put it like this, and then this, and another six over here. But that takes more time. On a competition, we don't care if our notation is officially accepted among the elite of math. So we can add 2x over here to get 5x equals 18 and x will equal 18 fifths. Again, that's the x coordinate of q because that's AF and BD's intersection point, which means it's also the x coordinate of what I called x down here. So this is 18 fifths, and since this x coordinate is zero, we now know dx is 18 fifths. I'm gonna erase this to leave space. Okay. What about the X coordinate of P, which is also the X coordinate of Y? Same thing, you're just gonna just let BD now equal AE. So that's going to be one half X equals negative one sixth X plus three. Again, multiply by six. So you'll get three, actually, yeah, six. So three X equals negative X plus 18. Subtract X to get four X equals 18 and X will equal 18 over four or nine over two. Um, I will write it as nine over two. That's not what YX is actually. YX is the distance here, but it is the X coordinate. And you can do a quick check to make sure you're not making a mistake. That's 4.5 and that's 3.6. So we are marching along just fine. Um, in fact, we could maybe do it better with decimals. Um, since this is 3.6, um, and this is 4.5, minusing the two gives 0 0.9 as yx. That might be faster than the fractions now that we've done it. Um, and we already know what c's value is. It's 6. So 6 minus 4.5 is 1.5. Then uh, let's multiply by 10. We will get 15 to 9 to 36. That's a 36. And lastly, divide by 3 to get 5 to 3 to 12. That is simplified. There is no common divisors of any of these other than 
one, right? The greatest common factor of R, S, and T is one. Therefore, this is R, S, and T. Eight plus 12 is 20. That's the answer. It's E. We're moving on.